أمة الصليب تجاه أمة الإسلام وفي نفس الوقت his caliphate may have vanished, but the propaganda arm of Islamic State is still functioning, and this is its most significant output for several years. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi looks older and more haggard than his 47 years, but still remarkably well for a man reported to have been killed or seriously injured in airstrikes. His only previous video appearance was five years ago, delivering a sermon in Mosul as his followers were on the march, capturing huge swathes of Iraq and Syria. At the height of his power, only audio recordings of his voice were broadcast. Al-Baghdadi remained invisible, even though the terror group produced a steady stream of material showing their fighters, often committing acts of barbarism, such as beheadings and burning their enemies alive. Since then, IS territory has shrunk to nothing. The final holdout in Baghuz was taken last month by US-backed Kurdish forces. Al-Baghdadi acknowledged the defeat in his video, condemning, without apparent irony, the barbarism and brutality of the West compared to what he described as the courage and resilience of his followers. This Washington-based analyst says Al-Baghdadi has taken a risk to appear publicly. The background was a white sheet. The faces of people he was with were blurred. He reportedly won't meet with anybody with any electronics whatsoever. This is a tape done by a man on the run who realizes he's up against some very impressive intelligence organizations. Getting this out was a feat, but he also knows that getting it out creates a risk. As further proof that the video was recorded recently, there were also references to the Easter Sunday attacks by Islamists in Sri Lanka. And IS's future seems to be in inspiring attacks by supporters around the world, including Africa. The video will be carefully scrutinized for clues, though the three faces of the men he was talking to were blurred and the background bare. The best chance of finding the elusive IS leader may be the $25 million reward the US has put up to encourage someone close to the group to betray his whereabouts. Ian Woods, Sky News, Washington.